the need is tremendous. So help needs to keep coming. And Odessa woman returns home after helping millions of victims from Typhoon Haiyan. We start all new tonight at 10. It's been over a month since Typhoon Haiyan struck the Philippines, killing thousands. Since the tragic disaster, help from all over the world has been pouring in, including from West Texas. CBS 7's Deanne Lopez caught up with one woman who just returned from the Philippines. She joins us now in the studio with that story. Deanne? Last night, Dawn Keller of Odessa returned home after volunteering a month of her time and services for the millions of Filipinos who were affected by the deadly typhoon Haiyan. She says it was the most challenging yet rewarding moment in the 20 years that she's done disaster response work. Three weeks after the event, people still were getting their first contact with any kind of care, any kind of support. Dawn Keller is no stranger to disaster relief. That's why when news of Typhoon Haiyan broke, she knew that's where she needed to be. When she arrived, she described the scene as a nightmare. People carrying children looking for help who were barely alive. They would keep walking, just keep walking until they found someone. So they would walk up, still carrying like a six-year-old, and say, do something, she's still breathing. The little girl pictured here was just one of thousands Keller came across who was forced to sleep in a cold, wet bed with no food or roof over her head for days. Keller says by the time help came, this baby girl had developed a serious fever and died two days later. She was exactly one month old. Keller says 12 million people had been affected overall with 6,000 confirmed deaths and 2 million people still missing. Despite everything that these people have been through, Keller says they live by the quote, today is better than yesterday. She says they are the most resilient and gracious group of people she's ever come across. On day 21 as well, we were still walking into places for the first time or dropping in by helicopter that had not had food and had not had water and had not seen medical personnel. This is why she wants to remind everyone else around the world to not forget about those in the Philippines and continue to send help. Keller carries this special note in her wallet written by one of the groups stranded with no food or shelter, asking for help. She says if this man hadn't walked 28 miles to deliver the note, they probably wouldn't have gotten to them on time. The Filipinos have a heart of gold, Keller says, and will never lose hope despite their circumstances. Keller says dozens of organizations have come to help from all over the world, but many have left and are thinking of leaving very soon. If you would like to make a donation, you can visit our website at CBS7.com for a list of those organizations. In the studio, Deanne Lopez, CBS 7 News.